Today, we're making a classic Sichuan street snack, Don Don noodles. Always a favorite, can't go wrong with fresh noodles with a meat topping sitting in a spicy chili oil based sauce. So you've got some flexibility with the noodles and every stall will have their own toppings. But the one critical constant to a great Don Don noodle is the sauce. To make the sauce, you need to start with a good quality homemade chili oil. And if that's something new to you, be sure to check out our recipe video here for the oil. Start off the sauce by toasting about a half a teaspoon of Sichuan peppercorns. After about a minute or so on low heat, once they start to smell real nice, move them over to a mortar, crushing those peppercorns well until you get a fine powder. We'll add those in later. Next step, add three tablespoons of soy sauce, one and a half tablespoons sugar, and a teaspoon dark Chinese vinegar to a wok on low. To that mix, be sure to add in a half teaspoon of all natural purified seaweed crystals, which will really round out the sauce. We're heating this soy sauce mixture up just to let all that dissolve together. Now take a tablespoon of sesame paste and pour in two tablespoons of that soy sauce mixture. Sprinkle in your Sichuan pepper powder, add in two tablespoons of chili oil, mix that thoroughly, and the sauce is finished. For the topping, we'll start with some pork. Not too much, about 100 grams. This is a lean cut of pork belly that we'll mince by hand. Now, unlike a wonton filling or something, you could also use a supermarket mince here, but for this small amount, a couple cleavers can also make quick work of it. Now take that pork and mix in a quarter teaspoon salt, half teaspoon sugar, half teaspoon of liaojiu, aka shaoxing, and a half teaspoon of soy sauce. Once that's mixed, add in a half teaspoon of sesame oil, toss it around, and let that marinate for about 10 minutes. To fry, first long yo. Get that wok piping hot, shut off the heat, add in the oil, and give it a swirl to get a nice nonstick surface. Flame on low now. Toss in a couple dried de-seeded chilies. We're just flavoring the oil here, so once those start to turn color, just take them out and toss them. Add in three tablespoons or so Sichuanese yatsai and fry. Yatsai is a type of Sichuanese preserved vegetable made from dried and fermented mustard greens. It's got this great mild flavor and it's just perfect for this dish. Once those are fragrant and slightly wilted, up your heat to medium high and add in your pork together with its marinade. Fry for a couple minutes, being sure to break apart the mince. Once it's changing color, add in a half tablespoon of liaojiu, pouring it over the spatula and around the sides of the wok. Then, do the same thing with an equal amount of soy sauce. Mixture out and the topping is finished. Now before we get to the noodles, just start prepping your bowl. Take a good spoonful or two of your sauce and evenly spread it around the bottom of the bowl. Your noodles are going to rest on top of this. For our noodles, we're using shengmian or raw noodles. We just got these from the market, but feel free to sub in whatever similar noodles you got handy. Once those noodles are cooked, about three minutes for this type of noodle, take them out and run them under cold water or toss in an ice bath to stop the cooking process. Now, you could totally just throw these into a bowl now, but we got YouTube thumbnails to make, so Steph's using the restaurant technique of carefully laying down the noodles in a back and forth pattern to make everything all pretty. Toss a couple generous spoonfuls of the meat mixture on top, Add an extra spoon or two of the chili oil around the sides. Garnish with some green onion and devour. I hope you give this a try. Check out the red link in the description box for a detailed recipe and subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos.